welcome back dear students of class 6 today we are going to study part 3 of chapter 6 scratch programming introduction to gram creation now students in this part we will talk about this topic types of blocks in scratch now in part 1 and part 2 you have already studied how to install scratch in your computers and then in part 2 you studied scratch and its different components okay now you are going to study types of blocks in scratch before talking about that let me quickly tell you what exactly is the blocks okay so students when we open the scratch suppose this is my scratch and i open the scratch window so these shapes over here that you can see over here these are different blocks okay now these blue colored blocks are of motion category okay in the same manner we have different colors and different shapes of blocks okay as you can see over here we have different shape and different colors of blocks okay so there are basically six important types of blocks in our scratch and we have to study them so let us quickly study the different types of blocks in scratch okay students there are six different block shapes in scratch okay what are those the first one is the hat block okay then the stack blocks okay stack type of blocks boolean type of blocks reporter blocks c blocks and cap blocks okay so these are the six blocks six type of blocks in scratch that we are going to study in this particular lecture let us first quickly start with the first type of block that is the hat blocks what are hat type of blocks student hat blocks are the blocks that are designed to start the script okay so when you open the scratch window if you want to start any script you can use the hat type of blocks okay students now what is another thing important about the hat blocks these blocks usually have a rounded top and a notch at the bottom of the shape so as you can see look over here this is what a hat block looks like okay see it has a rounded top over here okay and there is a this shape at this bottom can you see this notch at the bottom okay so these are the hat blocks okay as you know hats we wear our hats on our head so these are the blocks that will come first okay and other blocks like this other blocks can be placed below it but not at the top so let me quickly show you show a example of hat block so see this is a hat block when flag clicked so this is the green flag it is just equivalent to clicking on this so when you click on this okay whatever will happen below it okay so if, when you whenever you click on the green flag if you use this block okay and below this if you use move 10 steps suppose move 100 steps okay so what will happen whenever you click this green flag whatever is below this will be activated okay so what will happen see the sprite the sprite has moved 100 steps okay if you remove this and if you make it turn 180 degrees okay so now what will happen whenever i click the green flag the sprite will turn 180 degrees see it has turned 180 degrees again if i press again it has turned 180 degrees okay so these type of blocks are called as hat blocks now as you can see i cannot place any block over this 
right now i have placed it but it does uh, but it is incorrect it, nothing will happen if i click on this see nothing will happen okay so see as these two fit like a puzzle but over here they don't fit like a puzzle okay so you cannot place any block at the top of the head blocks okay only at the bottom of the head block okay moving on uh so other blocks can be placed below it but not on the top okay now in total there are 11 head blocks okay so if you search all the blocks over here okay in looks or in sound in event control so this is a head block this one is also a head block this one also is a head block so if you try to find different types of head blocks in your uh, scratch you will find that there are 11 different types of had blocks in scratch okay moving on so i'll just quickly delete all these and let's move to the next type of uh, next type of block that is the stack blocks okay now students what are stack blocks stack blocks are the blocks that perform main commands okay that means stack blocks are very important types of blocks because they are going to help us to perform the main commands okay these blocks have a notch on the top as you can see they have a notch on the top and this bump is there at the bottom also okay why so that other blocks can be kept on the top of these blocks also and below them also so that they can the other blocks can be stocked stacked above them stacked means kept okay above them also and below them also okay there are total of 77 blocks which belong to the stack blocks category okay this is the most common block shape which one the stack blocks so let us see see the this block can you see this there is a notch over here there's a bump over here so i can place any block at the top of this or i can place any block at the bottom of this also okay okay with the help of this notch at the top and bump at the bottom okay so these all these three blocks this block also okay then again this block also all these blocks are what these are stack blocks and there are 77 different types of blocks that belongs to that belong to the hat uh, sorry stack blocks category okay in scratch you can find 77 different types of stack blocks and you will study about them in detail what each of them does later on moving on to the next type of blocks that is the boolean blocks now students whenever you hear this word boolean okay always remember that whenever you hear this word boolean you should understand okay or you should uh, you know just think of two things true or false so if i give you a boolean uh, condition okay so or a boolean operator then it will always return either true or false its answer will either either be true or false but not both okay so these type of blocks that give us the value true or false are called as boolean blocks okay boolean so whenever you hear this word boolean you should directly think of two things only either true or false now this helps us in many types of conditions like finding the greater or the smaller number of the two numbers and different types of programming conditions okay you will study about these conditions later on okay when you study advanced programming also okay so let us talk about boolean blocks boolean blocks represent the conditional logic that returns either true or false i told you now that they only return either true or false okay conditional logic either true or false so you will be given a condition for example as you can see this is a boolean block okay it is a hexagonal shaped block 
can you see this there are six sides hex means six okay there are six sides over here okay and see two empty boxes are given if i write over here three and if i write over here four and what this is the you know less than symbol so is three less than four yes three is less than four so it will return what value it will return true it will return which value two but if i write four over here and three over here so is four less than three no then it will return what false value okay so i'll just show you a quick example before showing that example i'll show you with a hexagonal shape okay so these blocks are of what shape hexagonal hexagonal means what they have six sides see this is one two three four five and six sides hex means six okay so these blocks are of hexagonal shape which blocks boolean blocks let me show you uh, in the scratch window so if you come over here see this block can you see this block this block this block okay so this is less than equal to or this and this is greater than uh, sorry this is less than symbol this is greater than symbol okay for so suppose see i write 3 in this box and if i write 4 in this box so what does this mean 3 less than 4 so if i click on this block see it is returning true value can you see this a true is popping out over here and if i want this sprite to say the answer of this i will just take say from here say okay this block and i will insert this inside this white colored box so see say 3 less than 4 so if i and uh, suppose if i take this uh, when green flag click say whether 3 is greater than 4 so if i click the green flag see this sprite is saying true because 3 is less than 4 yes but if instead of 3 i write 13 over here okay 13 less than 4 and if i click the green flag see it is returning false so this block is called as the boolean block it always returns what kind of value true or false value okay now there are many ways uh, in which you can use the boolean blocks in your programming this is one of the way this is one of the way there are many other ways students in which you can use the uh, your this uh, boolean blocks okay i have just told you one example there are many other ways in which these boolean blocks are used in the programming now let us move on to the next type of blocks which are called as reporter blocks okay so what are reporter blocks students reporter have you seen a reporter on a, of a news tv channel what do they do they say something right on the tv they keep on saying something what do they say they say the latest news yes they speak the news and you listen to it so reporter blocks help you to save something first they hold the values hold the values means as you can see this green colored block over here sorry now this green colored block over here now this green colored block over here length of world now it is now length of this block is called as length of block okay and it belongs to which category reporter blocks okay so what will happen when i use this length of block now see length of and what is typed inside this world now this is a string yes now reporter blocks can hold values which can be numbers or strings so now see right now there is a word written over here which is a this number uh, this uh, word this word is a combination of the letter w o r l d total how many words are there five words are there okay now whenever i use this block uh, yeah length of word okay whenever i use this block in my scratch see what will happen see when i click on this five is popping up five can you see this five quickly popping up over here see this five why five is coming because length of this word which is written inside this 
is five. Suppose instead of five, uh, a word. If I type elephant. So what is the word length of this word? If I click on this, see eight is popping. Can you see this? Eight is popping over here. Okay. Now, if I want the scratch, uh, this sprite to say it, what I'll do? I'll bring this C block over here and put this length of block inside this. Now see, say length of elephant. Okay. So what? Now this. A uh, sprite is telling eight. Why? Because the length of this word is elephant. Uh, elephant is eight. Okay. So these type of blocks are called as reporter blocks. They report something to us. Okay. Now, one more thing important about this is that uh, the shape of reporter blocks is with rounded edges. See this edge. Can you see it is rounded edges? The boolean blocks were hexagonal in shape, but the reporter blocks are of these rounded edges okay somewhat oval in shape somewhat but not exactly oval okay they have a rounded edge okay these have a pointy edges okay but this one has a rounded edge now the next type of blocks are the c blocks okay c blocks are in the shape of c can you see this it is depicting a shape of c see this one yes so that's why they are called as C blocks. Okay. So let us quickly see what these blocks means. C blocks are the blocks that are C shaped. So as you can see, this is a C shaped blocks and are also known as wrap blocks. Why they are called as wrap? You know what? What uh, you have you seen wrapping paper? It is used to wrap our gifts. Yes. So we take the uh, packing paper or the wrapping paper and we wrap our gifts. Yes, inside the wrapping paper. In the same manner, these C blocks are used to wrap different uh, blocks inside it. These blocks loop the blocks within the C shape or check if the condition is true. So inside this, they are going to wrap the different blocks. Okay. For example, if I show you this one, this repeat. Okay. Or uh, if I show you this one okay forever block okay so inside this block i can place many uh, different blocks see inside this c shape i can place many blocks see as many as i want inside this c shape as many as block i want i can place inside this it doesn't matter Okay, so these C shaped blocks, which can you know include many other blocks, are called as C blocks. Okay, now how to use C blocks? You will find uh, you will uh, get an example of that in the uh, you know in this this chapter only, but in the next few topics. Okay, now uh, there are five C blocks and they are present in the control category. So if you come to the scratch. Okay, I'll delete for this. And if you go to this control category scripts inside scripts, if you go to control category, you can see this repeat 10 is a C block forever is a C block another C block. Then if then is a C block then if then else and then repeat until these are the five C blocks that are present in scratch. Okay, so how many C blocks are there? There are five c blocks okay and they are of c shape and inside that then we can inside this c shape we can place different blocks now the last type of block is called as the cap block okay cap blocks now cap blocks are the blocks that end the script okay uh, it is just the opposite of your this uh, just let me show you this when click because it is used at the start okay in the same manner this this block cap blocks cap blocks are the blocks that end the script so they are used at the end of your script okay they are shaped with a notch at the top and a flat bottom why flat bottom for example if i show you this one see it has a flat bottom now below this 
you cannot place any other block but on the top of this you can place okay at the top you can place and it will do something okay but see it is moving 10 steps okay whenever i click on this it is moving 10 steps okay but i cannot place this block below this see it has been placed but is it sticking to it no will it will it do will it do something if i click on this no okay so only because it has this flat bottom okay the blocks cannot be placed at the bottom of this top blocks okay or the cap blocks okay it can be only placed at the top okay and they are always used to end the script okay they are always used to end the script now you cannot place any blocks below them there are only two cap blocks which can be found in the control category and again inside this control category you can find the two uh, cap blocks the first one is this top all and the second one is this delete this clone these are the only two cap blocks in our scratch okay students so with this we have seen what are the different types of blocks that are available to us in scratch students in the next uh, lecture you will be studying about changing the backdrop of the stage okay how to change the backdrop of the stage okay now students there is a let's know more written over here let me quickly uh, tell you about it to remove a block right click on the block in the script area and choose the delete option from the menu okay likewise we can remove a sprite by right clicking on the sprite on the stage and selecting the delete option from the list what are they trying to tell suppose if i place this block over here okay and i want to delete it so what i'll do i will right click on this and i'll click on the delete button and the block uh, the that particular block will be deleted in the same manner if i want to delete this sprite i will come on the sprite i'll right click it and i'll click on the delete button and the sprite will be removed okay so with this i come to the end of this lecture students in the next lecture you will study how to change the backdrop of the stage okay so with this uh, you uh, please watch the lecture carefully okay and i hope you must have uh, watched the previous lectures also okay so i will just put an end to this lecture thank you for listening take care of yourself and be well